reporting for Katie Chats here at Bruges Army Mingle for a Mission in downtown Toronto with Elvira Kurt and Megan Fallenbach. How does it feel to be here at Mingle for a Mission tonight? I'm pretty excited. I, I, I feel like, um, well, as a lot of insecure performers, and I'm not speaking for Megan, I'm just, it's just me. Uh, I find very, myself in a very comfortable role of uh, seeing people with those, you know, they want to say hi to you. Um, but I don't know that necessarily they want to say hi to me. So I just ask them right away, who do you want to meet? And then I go get that person for them. So I've been having a lot of fun that way. What about you? <laughs> yes, I've, I've, I've experienced that as well. Um, they, I've been introducing a lot of other celebrities <laughs> to meet fans. Um, but it's also, I mean, I, I, I think on besides that uh, and the insecurities, which I know nothing of which, no. which you speak, <laughs> I don't have those. I don't know what they are. I, I now feel like I have to get a therapist and maybe uh, unleash, unleash something here. Um, but no, I feel really proud to be here. I, I think Holland Blue Review especially is such a, a great and worthy cause to be here, here for and uh, I, 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 is it weird to say cause can you do say cause I guess it's a cause uh, I'm there actually weekly because my kids my very fortunate healthy children take swimming lessons there and we are we uh, they it's amazing exposing uh, people who are so lucky and so healthy and, and little children who don't know uh, don't see that every day and they every week they see and they interact and I, I, we always talk to kids, we talk to everyone we see, we, I, I make a point, we, we always talk to everyone we see and, it, it, and these kids, have, a lot of the times they don't talk and I just, I, my kids will talk to them or at least introduce themselves and talk and it is, so I, I, you know, it took me a long time to not cry every time I, I, I was in there because it, it's, you just realize how lucky you are and we really are lucky and uh, doing something like this is a no-brainer, like do you want to, hang out and chat with people and make some money for just this incredible, incredible uh, place, Holland Blue Review. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Any day. I would do this every night, actually. I would do this every night for something like this because we are so lucky. And you know, when so you get... So what was the question, Katie? <laughs> no, I've got one more thing to add, actually. You know how it is when you have the flu and you're you're in bed for like a day or two and you're like, wow, I, I, I can't believe I'm sick. Like, I, like they, I, I just only wish I had my health. These people may they never have their health, so that's just it furthers it. Like this isn't a flu we're talking about, anyway. Yeah. And Elvira, what's the importance of supporting kids with disabilities to you as well? Well, as Megan said, you know, it's really, it is a no-brainer in the sense of, for me personally, again, I mean, I have a very limited skill set, so this feels like the very, truly, the least, the very least that you can do, because. You know, from what I understand from Amanda, this is uh, the the funds that are raised tonight are for the families that have a, a really critical situation that they need to. Uh, you know, they come in uh, for the treatment or they, they bring their kids to the um, facility and they don't have anywhere to stay. And just knowing that the money that that's raised it gives people just a, a bit of relief in a, in a time that, as you know, again as a parent, your absolute worst nightmare. It's. Uh, it is, it's just so easy. And there's free wine. Absolutely. And what do you think of the concept of combining mingling and supporting a really good cause? I think it's pretty cool, actually. I think it's a really nice way for people that uh, don't actually know a lot of people that are, you may, I feel like most people know people who are actors nowadays. There's so many of us. Oh my God, there are too many of yeah, us. You don't need to mingle. You, you know, could just ride the again, subway yeah, we're, or the streetcar and you're it. like, we're there. We're, there. Right, we're Canadian celebrities, right? We so ride the subway. It doesn't feel subway. like it's we a don't big own deal. Cars. But it is um, nice to <laughs> interact with people who, I mean, you know, it's one thing to, uh, as a stand up, to make an audience laugh, but to get to meet the people afterwards, I think that's super fun. Oh yeah, right? it's super fun. I, I do fan expo I, almost annually because I do a lot of cartoons and I got a lot of fan. And they people come from all sorts of places, you know, that are that are most people are not from Toronto and they aren't used to seeing celebrities. They're just watching us and they have this idea of of what they're seeing and who we are. And it, it's such an I think it. I think it's just such a it's a, such a great thing for them to be able to. Why are you laughing at I'm, me? You know why I'm not laughing because I'm just sitting here and I I'm feeling really good, which is an unusual feeling <laughs> for me. And I feel like you know I spend a lot of time being really cynical, and it's so nice to come to a place and you kind of let your guard down and 
I'm just listening to you talk and I'm feeling really happy and that's oh that's, that's nice but I happen. was talking I'm glad that though that we shared that moment with you but I'll <laughs> I, I'll continue with what I was gonna say but it was nice to hear it from Elvira in that way and we're glad she's happy um, but I do think it is really important that <laughs> Come on back. Come I, just, back. I just hugged the complete stranger as <laughs> in response to that moment. No, but I do think it's such a great way for people to actually uh, have a human eye. Like, we're, look at us. We're just real people. They see us eat nachos. Um, they see right? us drink wine. Uh, we're mooching food, you know, just like we're you. Just, we're doing what everyone else does. And it is, I know how important that is when I, I, I feel the same way when I've had the opportunity to meet someone that I've really looked up to and there are lots of those people and I, I do get starstruck absolutely all the time whenever I have a chance to meet someone amazing who I think I've been watching on the big screen and uh, it is so I think if, if I'm actually that person I can't believe I am but if that is who I am to the to people then I am so I feel so lucky to actually give them that I'm so lucky to have fans who knew? And as a comedian who's been in the business for years and years and on television and as a voice actress and an actress, what is the importance of Canadian film and television and comedy I mean, to you? Holy, we, do we have a, an hour? Go ahead, yeah, you start, right. you got 30 minutes. I Jeez. get 30. I uh, want 30, you get 30. Uh, well, your job is to make people forget what the question was. I think it's... I'm very good at that, aren't I? I think it's important. Um, because, you know, the, the answer just feels so obvious because there's just like an embarrassment of riches here. And unfortunately, the reality is, is that it's a lot easier for Canadian networks to buy uh, cheaper programming for other, from other countries, specifically America. So we're always in that, their shadow. But, uh, you know, within our own backyard, it's just, it's ridiculous the, the amount of skill and ability and talent and giftedness uh, in the performers and kudos to to those of us who stick around in this country against all odds eking it out making it you know making a living and then being surprised that it's special to somebody because it, for me it's just uh, it's such a passion to get to do what I love and I actually uh, you know have a, a, a place to do that it's nice when it gets recognized by some sort of appearance on uh, television um, but it's almost beside the point because I just I love doing what I do, and I think that if Canadians just recognized how brilliant we are, and I'm not talking about the the fans, I'm talking about the um, you know the the mechanism, the industry. You don't have to go that far, and it you know we're obviously willing to work for very little. So give us more opportunities to show off what we can do and tell our stories here in our own country. Yeah, I, I, I have actually very little to add on that because that was a, it was perfect. Uh, I just hope I can afford to keep doing what I do. I mean, that there is that, you know, it's a, an unfortunate reality of doing what we do in Canada. Right. We're not just being interviewed. We're also servers here <laughs> at the Jack Astor. That's right. I actually, I've got to go because my shift is starting <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> and where is the best place to follow each of you online? Online. Oh. <laughs> No, uh, friend me on Facebook. I will accept your friendship, and then I will never post any. I'm such a face bottom, but I'll take as many friends as I can get. It's very Canadian of us. Uh, gosh, I'm very bad with that part. I guess, uh, you know what? Maybe I should be accepting friends on Facebook, because I don't actually... I don't do the website thing. I don't do the tweeting thing. Maybe I got to start. Uh, I don't know. Do you know any of my friends? You can probably find me through them. IMDb. Uh, yeah, How IMDb, about, absolutely. How about friends in three dimensions? Just walk up to us and say hi. Yeah, you probably see us on the subway. So, or, or working at Jack Astor's every, every Sunday night from 8 till 12. Where can they find you, Katie? I'm sure people want to find you. Do you have a Twitter handle? Um, I am at all, Katie Ullman Chats and on Facebook. There you Thank go. you. Okay, awesome. Find us through Katie because yeah. she's now our best we know friend. Katie. We know hey, her. Can I? When can we get your autograph? Can we yeah. do that now or later? Like, can we get a picture we with you? Guy. We got a. I got. Do you have your camera with you? We want to get a photo. Yeah. You know, we're done here. There's Adam Corson yeah. coming. Yeah. Stick around, Carrie Lynn, Katie, Kristen Booth.
Have you I talked mean, to all these people uh, yet? They're coming up. They're, wow. they're coming. They're you coming. have no idea who's I know, coming. But actually, none of these people matter since you've got Katie here. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I guess that would look weird interviewing yourself. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Hi, I'm Katie. This is Katie. Not, not too much to say. Not much to say. People. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching. And thanks, Katie. You have an amazing time mingling this evening. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats. You're at Ruth's Army Mingle for a Mission in downtown Toronto. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are so fun. Let me just get